Helen Venables from uh, House of Colour here again and today I'm going to show us how we can dress Jane's beautiful hourglass figure. My experience of working with hourglass women is that they feel great about one part of their body and not usually about the other part. Is that true for you or not Jane? Possibly because if I put on weight it's it the go? bottom and the thighs. Okay, so totally different to the apple shape that we looked yes. at last time. So your body is what I would call a split geometric. You've got a beautiful triangle shape at the top here, a very de definite, beautiful slim waist, and then curvy on the bottom. And of course what we're doing at the moment is covering all of that up with this wrap so that we can't see any of it at all. And that's the number one no-no for hourglass figures. Right. So in a minute we're going to get you into a little, take this off, put a little jacket over the top that honours your waist so we can absolutely see that and that sits at exactly the right length to show off the curves in the most flattering way. Right. Okay, that's okay. the first thing we're going to do. Okay. Okay, Jane, so we've swapped that coverall cardigan, the safety zone, for this jacket, which I understand you've had a long time. Tell me why you love it. Um, well, I love it because it's sort of like a biker jacket, but it's not leather, if you know what I mean. And, uh, and maybe, yes, I should wear it more often. I don't often wear it. Well, it does absolutely all the right things. It gives you back your waist so we can see the curve here, and it stops two inches above your widest part which right. is a great tip for our glass really? girls because where the colour changes is where our eye is drawn. So yes. we don't see the widest part, we see that very neat line there. Which is why I usually wear black. Ooh, black. <laughs> you don't need to do that. Nipping in the waist and you can see that this little zip again is honouring your waist there. Right. Honouring, I like that. <laughs> I would honour it if I had it. <laughs> So the next thing that we've done for Jane is to draw the eye up to where we're really comfortable. She's got this beautiful bone structure. You must have been told that many times before. I hope so. In the past. <laughs> oh, come on, you're looking stunning, absolutely stunning. And if we can draw the eye up here, so lovely makeup, we've got beautiful earrings, great haircut, and making sure that we've got a little bit of something, even more than we might normally wear when we're casual, right. that will draw the eye up where we're comfortable with it. Right. It's about right. feeling confident. Right rather than wearing something round my bum. Rather than covering your bum up, yes. absolutely. Yeah. Right. So talking of that, th we've taken the jacket off and this top, because it's very slim fitted, really works because again, it honours your waist, which allows you to have the belt on the hip. Yeah. Um, if not, we'd have to have something that was tucked in or that yeah. was belted at the waist. You've got really lovely slim legs, you're not carrying much weight at all, so you don't really need to balance your hips. But for readers, viewers who are carrying a little bit more weight, often a boot cut jean will help to do that or balance the hips. Mm -hmm. You don't need that. Very kind. Okay, well we've got you into a lovely dress, one of your favourites I know, and we've belted it. And it quite rightly shows off your beautiful figure. You look much more comfortable in that. We've drawn the eye up with something sparkling. What I really like about this is the most important thing about dressing our body shape is actually dressing who we are on the inside as well. Yes. And you are a glamour person. You're okay. very beautiful and you need to have that honoured in your jewellery and your clothes. So. I love this word honoured. <laughs> it's important that you know who you are. So never going out without something sparkling. Jewellery. And I make that mistake, that. I think. You need that. Right. Beautiful. Right, thank you. Okay, one last thing, which is pertinent to all our glass figures, yes. is that we absolutely make, need to make sure that the foundation wear is wonderful. So right. boobs up where they need to be, which will give you <laughs> as much of the waist as you possibly can. Yeah. We don't want them in Spanx your if you Spanx, Spanx, absolutely. <laughs> Keeping everything very smooth. Um, a lot of full hourglass girls actually go for a corset. Oh really? They really do, yes. just to keep everything where it needs oh, to be. Right. So oh, all about keeping think about the that. shape. Yes. And actually I would say you've got amazing bone structure here. I would say that actually if you've got your hair up off your face yeah. as well so we can see that. So it's all about creating the angles. Right, that's fantastic, Helen. You've really made me rethink my look. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> Lovely you. to meet you. Yeah.